If your vegetable garden is overrun with pests, the first step is to identify the invader. Snap a photo of the pest and compare to others on the internet or ask a local garden expert. Once you have identified the pest, now you can take proactive measures to protect your garden. There are a multitude of organic pest control methods available including chemicals, minerals, and strategic gardening techniques. Here are 10 effective methods. Spinosad. This option can safely be used on your fruit and vegetable crops. Spinosad is a soil-based bacterium that kills garden pests including bagworms, borers, beetles, spider mites, tent caterpillars, and loopers. Once Spinosad dries, it will kill insects that ingest it, reducing your chances of harming bees or other beneficial insects if sprayed in the evening when they are not active. Comes in liquid and dust formats under a variety of brand names. Just look for Spinosad as an active ingredient. Rotenone, an organic pest killer that is also moderately toxic to most mammals and occurs naturally in seeds and stems of some plants. Use this one with caution near ponds or lakes as rotenone is extremely toxic to fish. It will kill leaf-feeding caterpillars, beetles, aphids, and thrips on vegetable and fruit crops. Give it some time, however, as it's a slow-acting chemical that requires a few days to work. Pyrethrin, one of the most widely used botanical insecticides in the US. Pyrethrin is extracted from the chrysanthemum plant. It is non-toxic to most mammals, making it an especially safe choice. This insecticide is a powerful, fast-acting deterrent even at low doses. Upon exposure, most flying insects will immediately drop but may not always be killed. Some manufacturers mix pyrethrin with more fatal solutions to ensure insect death. BT Caterpillars can be cute, but they can also wreak havoc on leafy crops. BT is the shortened version of Bacillus thuringiensis, a naturally occurring bacteria that makes pests sick when ingested. Spray on leafy vegetables that caterpillars eat and BT will kill them from the inside out. Because it's only harmful upon eating, this is an extremely safe organic pesticide for preserving beneficial insects. Spray out of direct sunlight, which will reduce its efficacy after several hours, and repeat every 7 to 10 days until no longer needed. That products can potentially include genetically modified strains, so be sure to check the packaging to verify the formula's contents. Neem oil neem is extracted from a common Asian tree and inhibits the growth cycle of insects. Its active ingredient, azadiractin, will cause infected insects to eat less, grow more slowly, and molt less. This is a good option for those who don't yet have major pest infestations and want to get a head start on reducing the quantity of potential pests. Because of its growth retardation effects, neem oil works best on young insects and insects that grow rapidly such as squash bugs, Colorado potato beetles, and Mexican bean beetles. It is also effective on smaller, leaf-eating caterpillars and aphids. Best of all, if you have surplus neem oil, you can spray it on vine crops that are at risk for powdery mildew, as neem is slightly effective at preventing this plant disease. Diatomaceous Earth if you are opposed to using chemicals albeit organic around your vegetable crops, considering sprinkling food-grade diatomaceous earth in your garden bed. This powder is actually composed of fossilized diatoms, which are part of the alga group. Diatoms have a hard skeleton. When the powder comes in contact with insects, sharp edges will cut their bodies and cause them to die of dehydration within two weeks of application. The particles are so small, however, that they will not cut people or pets. Diatomaceous earth is best used in dry instances and becomes less effective when wet. While it also targets some indoor bugs, it will kill Japanese beetles, cutworms, flies, ticks, crickets, slugs, and other species. Unfortunately, it will kill beneficial insects, so use caution. So that's it for today. If you like this video, then please hit the like and subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching.